The 32X is known for a lot of things, many of which are rather negative, even among the most diehard Sega fans. It only received 30-some titles in its short run, and the hardware moved a scant amount of units, considering it was an add-on for a console that sold over 30 million units worldwide. All of that has led to a modern community that doesn't do much for the device in terms of hacks and new games. The Doom 32X Resurrection Project is really the only standout title that has seen some real change that makes it worth the time and effort of breaking out the device to see how things are progressing. Well, that is until now. Recently, there has been a very cool demo and a full game release for the 32X that has caught my attention. One is a hack of the Sega Genesis version of Golden Axe, which adds 32X functionality that provides a number of visual upgrades to make it closer to the arcade original. The second is a port of Open Lara, which is an open source version of the original Tomb Raider. Well, the beginnings of a port anyway. It's a demo of the first stage that's running rough, but has loads of potential to be something incredible. In this episode, we will go over these two projects to see how things are progressing, so let's jump right to it. Golden Axe for the 32X is something I've known about for a while, but for the longest time, it was only playable via emulation and would not run on real hardware. I can't say that excited me very much, so when the newest version of this project showed up recently, fully working on the 32X itself, I was ready to see how things were. And here you go. This is very close to the arcade original in terms of stage visuals. It even has the fog transition in the first stage, and the animated eyes on the giant turtle and eagle. A few other things have been tweaked like the attract mode to be closer to the arcade as well. I played through this with all three characters and only ran into one bug that stood out, and all that was was a color issue during the magic. Since the sprites in this one were already nice looking, the addition of the arcade backdrops really do make this one feel just a few steps away from the actual coin op. The only things I can honestly say would be nice to have in addition to the work that's already done are better screams for the villagers and maybe reworking the extra level that was in the Genesis original back into the game. Golden Axe was already short, but take that extra stage and boss fight away, and it's a 15 minute game at best. I do have to admit that this could open doors for some serious two-dimensional 32X mods that could be incredible. Imagine Street Fighter 2 with the arcade backgrounds, Mortal Kombat, any number of the shoot-'em-ups that had arcade ports, Strider, Ghouls and Ghosts. Hell, you could make an arcade library from the gods just for the 32X using Genesis versions. I really do hope this opens the doors for many more fan hacks, because this one turned out well enough to get me thinking about the possibilities. If you like what you see and want to take this one for a stroll, I'll drop a link in the description so you can take it for a spin. The patched ROM will be a new 16 megabit image, quite a bit larger than the 4 megabits of the original retail release. Swing by the romhacking.net site and give the game a review. It's at version 0.9.1, so I have a feeling there is going to be more to come with this one.
When I first saw Tomb Raider running on the 32X, I just had to play it. The open source version of this is now running on everything from the 3DO to the Game Boy Advance, and you can even play the entire game in your browser these days. Loading up this very early demo on the 32X reveals a game that is still surprisingly playable. Yeah, the resolution is low, there's a ton of texture issues, and there's no sound at all, but the gameplay is solid and the overall look is spot on, right down to Lara's handstand and dive. The notes on this one say it's only using one SH2 CPU, and there's practically no real optimization done yet, which basically means this can and should end up running and looking a lot better should it ever get finished. The demo allows you to play the entire first cave level, and includes enemies to battle and health pickups. This demo came on a 16 megabit ROM, which really got me to thinking about just how much trouble the 32X would have had, even if it sold well. Ports of many of the better 32-bit games would have had to have been cut back substantially to fit on a cartridge. Just imagine how large Tomb Raider would have needed to have been given the context and pricing of 32X games in 1995 and 1996. Even with compression, I imagine this would have needed to have been on a massive ROM with bank switching, with a high cost to match. Looking at the cancelled projects on the 32X, games like Alien Trilogy, Bug, Panzer Dragoon, Street Fighter the Movie, and Die Hard Trilogy likely would have been nothing like the Saturn versions just because the cartridge format that restricted the 32X so heavily. So what it makes you wonder if Sega really ever stopped to think about that long term, and how the 32X would have fared against substantially cheaper CD games that could hold titles with tons more content. Regardless, it's very nice seeing Tomb Raider on the 32X, and I really hope those in the community pick this up and get it finished. Does all of this mean the 32X is on the cusp of a renaissance that will see many more incredible hacks and full game projects? I have no clue about that, but it's still interesting to see these projects nonetheless. With any luck, the attention they get may well result in these getting better and new ones getting jump started thanks to newfound interest. Things really are heating up in 2024 in regards to fan made content like this. Even new game and reissues have been landing at a surprising pace so far. Don't forget to thank the folks that make the content like this either. The hard work that gives you new stuff to play on your favorite consoles should never go unappreciated. Especially when it's this good and has this much potential to spin off into even more projects. Keep up the good work folks, I for one love what you're doing. I'm Sigalord X. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.